here, the last guy was asking about college, and you said you're a pretty boring guy. How'd you say that with a straight face? You're not boring. <laughs> There's no way you were even born boring. Come on. College, man. Zaps the life out of you. All that study. So when did the real Matt Green start to come out then? It was after college? No, man. I'm the same dude. Same dude for a long time. Still boring? Still boring. I have to pull some articles up. I don't think you're boring. But all right, we'll move on. Yeah, we'll move on then. Uh, the experience in 2006 versus the experience this time around, you know, being older. How, how is the, the difference this time around versus last time? Uh, it's just, it's... It's different in terms of how, how we got here and, and just, uh, you know, kind of the way things came together. You know, I think uh, with Edmonton, you know, we kind of, kind of caught lightning in a bottle. You know, we had uh, Rolison was playing unbelievable. Uh, Chris Pronger was probably the best player in the world at the time. And we were getting scoring just from everybody in the lineup. I think Fernando Fasani, 15 goals, you know, through the whole, through the whole, uh, whole playoff run. And, but I mean, at the same time, everybody's playing well, everybody elevated their game. And here it's, it's, uh, it's been a little bit more steady, you know, in terms of, you know, you got more of a, of a group dynamic in the back end. I think Dowdy and Mitchell and Scuderi and Slava are playing extremely well. We got quick playing really well. And now we're starting to finally get scoring out of our lines, which we had, you know, all year. And so I think it's just a different way of things coming together at the right time, but just kind of a different feel. Than, uh, than Is Drew just scratching the surface of his ability? <laughs> I think he's uh, I think he's got a lot to give to this game and uh, he'll get better over the years and I think right now you're, you're, you're seeing you're seeing the type of player that he's, he's capable of becoming and what he will become. There are a lot of storylines so far in the playoffs whether it's the emergence of King you know Sutter as the coach Penner scoring some goals what's a story that maybe you think that uh, the media is missing out on that we haven't been covering? Uh, I don't know I think you guys are doing a good job I think uh, yeah, I, I think what's what's pretty cool, it's pretty special, special for uh, as, a, as a player, um, is uh, watching watching Kopi and uh, Brownie play as well as they have. Guys who have been here the longest, the guys who have been uh, been kings the longest, and Brownie being our captain, Kopi, you know, being assistant and just playing playing their hearts out, playing well, leading the charge. I think that's awesome. And, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of talk about that before, but I'm, I'm definitely I'm, I'm proud to see those guys. Appreciate it, man. Thanks.